Establishing threshold. Regardless of patient diagnosis, determination of each hemidiaphragm threshold is required prior to the start of effective bilateral diaphragm pacing. Threshold is the lowest amplitude setting that causes muscular contraction. The procedure to determine threshold amplitudes is as follows. Insert four new batteries into the spirit. Use only alkaline batteries. Do not use rechargeable batteries. Turn off both sides of the spirit by pressing the power on off buttons on the keypad. Connect the left and right antennas carefully into the corresponding sockets marked patient left and patient right. Turn on the left side by pressing the left power on off key. The spirit output starts at 300. Adjust the amplitude on the left side to 300 by pressing the up arrow key. Ensure that the left antenna is properly positioned over the receiver site, firmly affixed with adhesive tape or other snug dressing. If required, pre-oxygenate patient as needed, then discontinue alternate means of ventilation. To determine the threshold, starting at 300, slowly increase the amplitude by pressing the left up arrow key until the smallest diaphragm contraction is observed while the three-wave icon on the display is visible. Threshold is the lowest stimulus amplitude to produce the smallest contraction of the diaphragm. It can be observed in one or more of the following ways. A. Patient reports appropriate sensation. B. Manual palpation. C. Observation of abdominal expansion. D. Respirometer. E. Fluoroscopy. Patient reporting and manual palpation are the simplest methods. Stimulation occurs when the three-wave icon over the antenna icon appears. Inspiratory period. When the three-wave icon disappears, expiratory period, there is no stimulation. Once the threshold has been determined for the left side, thoroughly ventilate the patient as needed. Turn off the left side of the spirit and repeat the above procedure, starting at step four, to determine threshold for the right side. Amplitude adjustment. After determining the threshold on the left and right sides, the optimal amplitudes need to be determined. In general, the higher the amplitude, the larger the diaphragm contraction. Turn on both sides of the spirit. Starting at threshold amplitudes, gradually increase the amplitudes on the left and right side by pressing the up arrow keys until the patient achieves optimal tidal volume and diaphragm contraction without feeling discomfort. If the patient feels discomfort, lower the amplitudes while still maintaining optimal diaphragm contraction and tidal volume. If this cannot be achieved, call Avery Customer Service. Tidal volumes on the right are often larger than volumes on the left because of size difference between the two lungs. The breathing rate is set to provide the minute volume required by the patient. Minute volume equals breathing rate times tidal volume. The breathing rate is factory set at 12 BPM and should be adjusted to provide adequate ventilation dependent on the tidal volume obtained and the minute volume requirement of the patient. Pacing. Proceed with pacing until diaphragm fatigue appears. In newly implanted patients, this may vary. Five minutes to five hours are both normal. Check blood gases periodically. Non-invasive pulse oximetry and either capnography or transcutaneous CO2 monitoring is suggested. Each day, resume pacing until fatigue occurs. 
For patients who obtain little or no tidal volume when stimulation is first initiated, diaphragm reconditioning must be performed. Effective retraining of the diaphragm can only take place if the spirit can stimulate at the same time with the patient's ventilator so the hemidiaphragms can be exercised by contracting under pressure. Please refer to the instruction manual or contact Avery Biomedical's customer service for more information about diaphragm reconditioning.